If you spend a lot of time trying to remember the regions of the abdomen or you find that you sometimes forget them, this video will help you identify and instantly recall the nine regions and four quadrants of the abdomen. There are two ways to classify abdominal sections. The first is by quadrants and the second is by regions. Um, the quadrants is more common and it's easier to do. We have the right upper quadrant, the left upper quadrant, the right lower quadrant, and the left lower quadrant. The abdominopelvic regions, um, it's a little more complicated and it's, it's easy to forget once you learn. So we'll go over tools to remember them specifically. So in the center, that's where our belly button is. So that's where our umbilical cord used to be. Um, so that's why it's called the umbilical region. Epigastric region, epi stands for above. Hypogastric region, hypo stands for below. The right iliac region, so notice that this bone here, this is the pelvis, the ilium, this is the ilium. So right iliac region above, in the area where the ilium is, left iliac region. Then we have the right lumbar region. So, so we have our spinal cord here and the spinal cord is split up into different sections and the lumbar section of the spinal cord is in this area. So that's why I assume they're calling it the lumbar region in this area. But another way I like to remember this is that because it's in the middle, the the curves of the abdomen are a little bit more prominent in the middle. So you're closer to the back or you're closer to the lumbar region um, in this section. So that's how I remember right lumbar and left lumbar. And then hypochondriac, there's another term. Hypochondriac can also mean being afraid of getting illnesses or constantly being afraid of illnesses. And it, so that comes from um, the Greek people. And um, in, I read that they believed that vapors that emitted from this region ca um, caused distress and m melancholy to people. So when you think of vapors, you think of something that rises up. And that's why that's how I remember that the right hypochondriac region, the left hypochondriac region are in the, ups uh, are in the upper sections of the regions. And that's how I like to remember everything so that it sticks. This is just a clearer picture of, what, of the nine regions which we identified earlier. Now I'm going to do a review on what we just learned. So what I'll do is um, bring up a concept and once I bring it up, just pause the video and answer it out loud. And then when you unpause, I will, um, you can hear what the answer is. And the goal is to do it quickly so that your mind instantly comes to a conclusion. Okay, term for the top left region of the abdomen. So region, so that would be the left hypochondriac region. Term for the middle right abdomen region. That would be the right lumbar region. Term for the lower left abdomen region. That is the left iliac region. Term for the upper middle region of the abdomen. That's the epigastric region, term for the lower middle region of the abdomen. That's the hypogastric region. Okay, that's the end.